Hey, this is Ravi Jalobos, and today I wanted to show you how to find a very specific class with the developer tools in Google Chrome. Now, the problem is that a lot of times you're editing a CSS file and you don't know what the class that you're trying to target is supposed to be. So in this case, I am editing a WordPress template. This is essentially a child of the 2012 theme. And in the 2012 theme at the very bottom of each article, I got this really weird border and I want to get rid of it, but I'm not sure what that class is supposed to be or what element is actually creating this border for me. The best way to figure out which class this is, is by right clicking on this element and selecting inspect element. So I'm going to go into the developer tools for Chrome. When I do that, I should see a couple of things on the right hand side that are super important. Number one is computed style. That's going to tell me the styles that are being applied by this particular rule. So here I can see that I have the border and the border has a certain kind of thickness and also a styled called double. And that's what I want to get rid of. If you didn't click exactly on the right thing, you may need to kind of go through the different sections. So if you click on, for example, this content part, it'll show you that that's not where the border is over here. And you just kind of click through the content and find the place where the element that you want to change is. Once I know that I'm targeting the element that has the style that I want to change, what I need to do is turn this little triangle off and then look in this style section because this is going to tell me this is going to tell me the different style sheets where this style is coming from and then the individual classes that are causing the styles to be applied so for example if i look over here the very first one is going to show me that it's coming from style.css line 881 and that the class that's being applied here is site content article if I look down here, I know that the one that I need to change is border bottom. So now that I have the target, which is going to be site content article, then I know that I can redefine my class. And I'll do that over here on my style sheet. So I'll type in site content and then article. And then I'll do border bottom and just get rid of it by hitting none. And I'll come over here. I'll hit refresh. And now that border is gone. That's the power of using computed styles together with the styles tabs in the developer tools. It's the best way to find out which selectors are causing your visual changes. You can take that into your CSS document and write a style rule to target the right thing.